Mary meet you guys. So today I was thinking about what message to put out there. This isn't about spell work or or anything like that. This is more a thought uh, of Belinda Reedy. The way I think, the way I've come to realize and recognize how we are all connected. Um, and why there's so much depression in the world. And why there's so much and so many people looking for other ways to be happy. Always having the need to feel that they got to add something to be better, to stand out, to be different, to feel better about themselves. I always wanted to add, add that to our life. And I've come to realize as I've gotten older that if we would embrace who we truly are, this is the part of depression, if we could embrace who we truly are and accept ourselves for what we are and come out without being ashamed of who we are or what we stand for or what we believe in or how we feel about a situation I really truly believe that there'd be a lot of less depression in the world a lot of times people are depressed because they're hiding behind a mask behind an apron behind a religion behind money behind a fasona whatever you know a look whatever you want to mask yourself in and, and you're not really being true to yourself I was able to be true to myself when I was able to release myself from of um, caring what people thought and now I have a lot of people that hate me my own family some of them hate me but it's alright it's okay because I have found more peace in my heart now than I did years ago when I was pretending to be like everyone else or pretending just to keep them happy okay so that's one part of it depression I, I do feel that a lot of people are depressed because they're hiding their sexuality because they're hiding their belief system because they're hiding who they really are when in actuality if you were to let go of being afraid of who you are and what you are and what you believe in you'd release so much so much anxiety that's my dog snoring again you would release so much anxiety and so much sadness and so much so much of a burden that you're carrying on your back. That's one part of it. Second part of what I was thinking today is how much suffering there's in the world and how much joy there's in the world and how much beauty and how much hate and how much horrific things are in the world. Everything all in one clump, all in one energy ball. And we are all energy. We are all made up of energy. I am completely convinced of that. And I know it. it is what I believe. We are all made of energy plants and the earth and us if we could realize and we could take into our hearts that our brother down the street didn't have food um we would make the world a better place we really would because when you stop caring about just yourself and what is in your circle things change so a lot of times people are trying to change the world and all you got to just change your thought process Changing your thought process process by holding out your hand to your less fortunate, by caring about what's going on on the other side of the world, not just what's going on in your town. By making a change in that manner, making a change in that manner instead of causing more havoc or not giving a shit. Because you don't give a shit, someone else doesn't give a shit, and so on and so forth. And it just doesn't get resolved. So I don't know if I'm making any sense. It's just a thought I had. I wanted to share with you guys about how beautiful the world is and how much more content we could be if we could just accept that our life is beautiful. That we are what we are and we're in this world right now at this moment together. We're all in it together right now. All those that are living and breathing in this year of 2017, we're in it together right now. If we could just take a hold of each other's hands and bring each other up instead of kicking people when they're down. If we could just rise above ego. The ego that tells you you could do better than that person or you look better than that person or you sound better or, you, or whatever. You have more money. That's ego talking. If we could let go of all of that and see our life for the beauty that it is, then we can really 
enjoy life embrace life embrace love look at the beauty yes there's pain and suffering because we all go through it but it's all part of this crazy ride we call life and if we can embrace the bad and the good especially the good then I think you'd find a sense of peace in your heart like I have I accept all the mistakes I've made, forgiven myself, um, forgiven people, whether they ask for forgiveness or not. I've let go of the ego, thinking, oh wow, well, I gotta lose 100 pounds by the end of the week. I, there's no way that's gonna happen, okay? Um, I'm getting older, and I've accepted the fact that I'm 46 now, and I'm not 28 years old anymore, and that's okay with me. I wouldn't trade me for a 28-year-old at any time. So point being this message of the day, even though it's short, is just a thought of Belinda Reedy. I just hope you guys can embrace and just think. Would you be happier if you were open up more about who you really are? Who are you trying to please? Who are you trying to make happy, not yourself? Because I know that if you were to open up and be and say what you really feel, feel and mean I I know that you would feel better I know because I did I mean it made me cry at times when I I got attacked by family members of mine but I'm over it oh far over it you know it's okay second part if we could understand that our fellow brother and sister down the street on the other side of the world wherever it may be is part of us we're all one race human race Standing together in this great earth that Mother Earth has given to us. Taking care of each other, taking care of Mother Earth. Putting our hands out for the less fortunate. Whether it's, even the rich could be less fortunate than the poor. In their heart, in their mind. Think about it guys. Look at your life, really look at it. And appreciate everything, the good and the bad everything because we got a chance to be in this ride together in this ride called life many blessings guys and i hope this touches a few hearts because i do feel that someone out there needed to hear this message and this is just for you i love you guys have a great evening or day